US troops have almost completed their pullout after a conflict that has cost them and the Afghan people dearly. Afghan civilians have suffered huge losses of life, with more than 47,000 killed since 2001. While the Afghan government keeps the army's death toll secret to avoid damaging morale, estimates show that between 66,000 and 69,000 Afghan soldiers have also been killed. More than 2,400 US soldiers and 455 UK soldiers and military personnel have been killed in action. And the war has now cost an approximate $2.261 trillion. Sky News has spent time with the Taliban in this exclusive report. The team travelled from Kabul to Sayadabad, southwest of the capital, and then to an old US army base at Sultan Kale, which has just recently been taken over by the Taliban. Our special correspondent, Alex Crawford's report, was filmed by Kevin Shepard. The Taliban are on the march and gaining territory at an astonishing rate. We've been invited to meet them inside their own base. They want to show us, as foreign journalists, how strong they are and also how they're in no mood to compromise. The departure of the bulk of the American and other NATO forces has emboldened them and they smell victory. One commander in Wardok province told me they would never work alongside the other groups in government. As a real Afghan, we would never do that because they are the people who are killing and kidnapping, who are thieves and who are corrupt, so we'll never work with them. We're the first foreign journalists to see the latest army base the Taliban have captured in the province, and they want to show us the treasure trove of military riches they've seized with it. Many of these boxes supplied by the Americans hadn't even been opened before the Taliban got hold of them. Whoa. Can anyone believe that the Taliban wants peace when you've, you've got all these weapons now? Most of the time we don't rely on all of this, we just rely on Allah. But it does help us a lot and it's given us a lot of new weapons we can use in battle. Of course we want peace, all people want peace here, but the government doesn't want peace with us. From this base alone, the Taliban say they seized about 900 guns, 30 Humvees and 20 army pickup trucks. It's a whole pile of, of destroyed vehicles, military vehicles there, and a huge area that they've managed to take over. I think there's, the Taliban will see this and view this as a substantial victory. And it follows a nationwide pattern of Afghan soldiers putting up only a half-hearted fight. Many of the fighters we saw were carrying new weapons seized during the taking of the base. USA. Mm. The white flag that signifies the Taliban takeover is flying in large swathes of the country right now, and they're creeping closer to the capital. Our journey en route to the Taliban was halted. This is a crucial highway which the Taliban have been trying to get control of. The Afghan army brought in reinforcements to push them back. But the fact that the Taliban have got so close to yeah, sure. the capital yeah, sure is they showing them that they're making gains. Yeah. The Taliban are winning the propaganda war, able to plant and detonate roadside bombs with few reassurances from the government about how they're going to regain control. Instead, in Taliban-controlled areas, they blame the Afghan National Army for injuries and insecurity. We saw no women at all out in public, although the Taliban insist they've progressed and want their girls educated. Do you all welcome the Taliban being here? <laughs> Tell me why. Because it's so much safer now. The Taliban have brought us security and peace, he says. The Taliban paint themselves as deeply religious and say they're fighting for an Islamic emirate based on a strict interpretation of Sharia law. 
Like so many others, this former prisoner jailed by the Americans immediately rejoined the fight on his release. The only thing that will persuade me to put down my gun is if there's Islamic law here, based entirely on Islam, and the government is run according to Islamic rules. The Taliban resurgence appears to have real momentum, and that's worrying for the Afghan government and its international allies, who are now watching all the military hardware they handed over ending up in the hands of the group they're meant to be used against. The government is seen as weak and deeply unpopular in areas, particularly where the Taliban have managed to take a hold. Can you work with any of them? They are nothing, anything. They are nothing. In this, we will destroy them. We are, we are uh, going to uh, destroy from our country. Uh, they, they come, they bring uh, bad, bad situation for Afghanistan, for our people, for our civil lives, for our country, for our uh, schools, for our uh, hospitals, everything. They're destroyed. And this while peace talks are meant to be ongoing. And all the while, the Taliban seem to be growing stronger, and that will surely lessen their desire to do any deals. Alex Crawford, Sky News, in Wadak province.